Hi everyone, I'm Sheer, your AEC Tech Girl, and today we're going to be going over what Autodesk has been up to this summer with Revit. They put out two updates, one back in June, Revit 2025.1, and one recently in July 2025.2, and I'm going to highlight some of my favorite updates from these two releases. Let's dive in and take a look. One of the improvements from 2025.1 has to do with walls and wall joins. Now in 2025.1, we're able to see a graphic of the wall joins and modify the wall joins in both plan views and every other view, including 3D views. So now if I do go to my plan view and I select a wall, I get this graphic and I can join or unjoin those walls like so. And this is again also available in 3D view where if I were to go to my walls, I can join or unjoin them. The next improvement that was also in 2025.1 has to do with PDF exporting. Previously, the PDF export dialog was missing a lot of information in the data grid, things like the revision and the sheet collection. Well, the data grid has been updated to show more information. Now, when I do go to file export to my PDF exporter, and I'm checking out the views or sheets that are being exported, you can now see that the data grid has been updated to show the sheet collection, to show the current revision, to make it easier to find the sheets that you're looking to include in the export. Next, let's talk about some of the 2025 Point two updates, one of which is something I am so excited about, and that is the new project browser. Now, what's exciting about this is that this improvement came from an idea that was upvoted over a thousand times in the Revit forums. So we're really excited that Autodesk has implemented an improvement that we are all asking for. We can see now that at the top of your project browser, you have the different tabs. The first tab is just how it was previously with all of the different views, legends, schedules, sheets, and families all within the same view. But the tabs at the top allow you to individualize all those things. We have our views tab, which just shows our views, our legends tab that just shows our legends, schedules, sheets, families, groups, and links. So now we can better find whatever we're looking for within those tabs without having to scroll through the entire project browser like we did before. So make sure to check out and play around with all the different tabs in the new update. Next is to the link manager. The new link manager has been updated to have a different dialogue or different user interface. Previously, we had all these tabs at the top. So it's kind of the opposite of what happened with the project browser, where we changed from having all of our links in tabs to having them all listed out. Now, when we go to our manage links dialogue, we can see that all of our links are listed out in these collapsible formats. So we can see all formats listed here with all of their properties along the top from their status to their reference type. You can see images, CAD formats, PDFs, and Revit formats, as well as every other format. What's nice here is that if you don't have a particular link, like I don't have any IFCs, loaded in here that they're not going to be listed out. So you're only seeing the things that are linked into your project. If I were to select a link, we now have more information listed on the right hand side here. You can even potentially see a preview. For example, for our PDFs, we can see a preview here as well as all of their other information. We can then select all different types and remove them reload them, and we can also do a multi-select to reload as well. The next improvement is with the Revit homepage. The new Revit homepage is now defaulted on. So if you haven't turned on the new Revit homepage, don't be alarmed when 
you upgrade that it is now defaulted on from what you're used to. This is the new and improved homepage that is amazing with lots of new options that you should explore. And lastly, Revit 2025.2 comes with the new Dynamo 3.2.1. This has also a lot of new improvements from the new homepage, which you can see right here. The new homepage offers a more consistent experience with Revit alongside several improvements. You can even see the similarities between the Dynamo homepage and the Revit homepage, including a tab for recent graphs, sample graphs, and learning content as well, making it a lot easier for new users to learn Dynamo. There's also workplace templates. So now when you go to open, you can open from a template and select a template Dynamo file to start from. This will make it a lot easier to create new Dynamo graphs from existing templates. There has also been a visual improvement to our Dynamo node library. All node icons have been updated and are now larger and cleaner at higher resolutions, making it easier to understand what you're doing. And you can see that here with all of the different icons for the different nodes. Additionally, space has been reduced in the node library, allowing for more content to be visible on your screen. Those are just some of the highlights, but you can check out all of the improvements to Revit 2025 from Autodesk. I'll put the link in the description down below so you can check out all of the improvements, some of which I didn't cover to do with structural framing and electrical systems, as well as topo solids. Well, there you have it. Those are the key takeaways from both the 2025.1 and 2025.2 releases of Revit. If you haven't started using Revit 2025, well, now is your opportunity to get all the new features in 2025, plus all of these updates. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you next time and Remember, stay empowered, stay inspired, and always challenge what is possible.